Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Actaris Matrix Light. Now, this is a matrix. So in, in essence, how it works is very similar to an Excel pivot table. I will note, note here, though, that the way that Actaris Matrix Light is built is really for uh, kind of budgeting and planning. At least that's their design behind it. So it's, it has the goal of being able to do some budgeting and planning around it. Uh, but it does have some nice characteristics that you can use for really anything. And, and, and you'll see as we do our demonstration here, I'm not necessarily going to use it for budgeting and planning, but I could kind of plot out and bring anything into it as if it were a regular matrix. And I like some of the interaction of this visual as opposed to the regular matrix in some cases. Uh, you are able to actually show the values that are filtered at the top. So you can use the top section of this visual to actually show and display the filters that are being utilized. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into how to walk through and use the Actaris Matrix Light and a demonstration of our own. All right, so to get started, we're going to start by bringing in some data that we're going to be using for this example. So I'm going to go up to the Get Data section here and select Excel. Underneath Excel, we're going to be bringing in the Sales by Product Hierarchy and Year file, and I'll hit Open. Once I've selected this, I can then see each of the sheets with inside of that workbook, and I'm going to select the one here called Product Sales, and then choose Load. It's going to bring that data into my Power BI data model here very quickly. And once it does, I can start to bring this data in into a few visuals. Now, for this example, we only really need one visual that's going to be the Actaris Matrix Light. And so to find that, we're going to go up to the Marketplace here and add in that custom visual because it's not natively available. So I'll select from Marketplace. And then inside the Custom Visual Marketplace, I'm going to search for Matrix. Probably one way to find it. And you'll find the Actaris Matrix Lite available here. And we can go ahead and add this to our Power BI desktop. And then we can start to use it right here. So if I select that, I can then bring this now into our design surface, make it as large or as small as I want. And then from within inside of this visual, I can start to bring in the different elements of our data source. So in this case, I might want to bring in something like the category on rows. OK. So you were eventually going to be able to see in here each of the categories of sales that we have. But before we do that, we need to make sure we need to bring in a actual value or a value into the value section here. That's, that would be our measure, our metric. And then I want to be able to see a, uh, a traditional matrix allows you to group by columns and rows. So I want to also bring in a grouping on the columns. And then that grouping is going to be based on the year. All right, now you can see this is rather small. It's a little difficult to read here. So I'm going to go underneath the format section here. And underneath the format section, underneath the grid UI, you can increase the font size here so you can actually read it. You can also change the formatting of the metric here so it actually shows through as a currency. If I select the sales measure or uh, implicit measure here, I can go underneath modeling and then change the format to a currency. And this is going to be a US dollar. So that fixes some of the formatting there for me. All right. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. You do have the ability to do some drilling into different hierarchies. So if I had a hierarchy, say, for example, that was category and subcategory, I could bring in the subcategory underneath the category, and then I can start to drill into each of these values and go deeper into each one. So that's a nice capability that's built in. Uh, but again, this one is kind of intuitive more for uh, doing budgeting and planning. You'll see some things in here that kind of indicate that. But you do have some flexibility that you can really work with this regardless. Uh, for example, you have some sorting in here you can do very easily by clicking the Sort button. You can also sort by the column headers as well. And then you could also add into the filter area. You can add in whatever you want to filter this report on or how you want to display the filters. So for example, let's say that I took out category for a moment and I brought that onto the filter section. You'll now notice that the category is showing up into the filter section on the top. And if I wanted to, I could actually uh, you know, change the value of my category. And if I change the value of category, you'll see that it indicates up top, it shows those values that are being filtered. So I'm only filtering to show the categories of bikes. So I'm only seeing the subcategories of bikes below it. And you can easily switch that to any other value. And you see it replace that very smoothly in here. You also have some control over whether or not you see these grand totals. So there's a grand total showing on a column and a row basis here. If you go under the format section and go underneath the show total section, here you can indicate whether or not you want to see those totals. So if I want to get rid of the grand totals on the columns and rows, I can turn off those totals, and it'll just show the values as is. But I do actually want to keep those on in this case, so I'm going to go ahead and leave those on here. You can also go underneath the grid UI section, and underneath the grid UI, this is where we increase the font size a bit. 
You could also change the font color. So if you wanted to see the text in a different color in some way, you could do that. Uh, I'm going to leave it as black in this one. And then you could also change the, the header color as well. So if you wanted to have the header color be something different, you could certainly change that in here if you wanted to. You also have the ability to change the background color, which is available in every visual. You can go in and change the background color of this visual if you wanted to, and you can give it some kind of different color if you so chose to. I'm not going to actually do that for this one, just want to point out that. Of course, just like other, every other visual, you can certainly do that here. All right, so it's a pretty straightforward visual, though. You'll, uh, again, you'll notice that uh, it's very straightforward, very smooth, easy to use, easy to interact with. Do notice here that it looks like the font size went and changed itself after I made a change to the background there, but we can easily flip that back to where it should be. I think when I hit, uh, I hit revert to default at some point there. That's it for this visual. Very quick one to show, very simple and straightforward. Hope you enjoyed it and look forward to showing you our next custom visual and our next module. Thanks a lot.